Hello everyone and welcome to yet another weekly update from me. I can't believe how fast they come round. Um, it seems a, a lot of time indoors for me at the moment. I've never had so much time on the farm in the last seven years and I've never got outside. Um, so first thing in the morning until late at night, we seem to be doing constant calls. And on the whole, I think it's working well. I've done some really good MP briefings and had really good engagement with stakeholders, supply chain, retailers, obviously retailer meetings on red meat ongoing, um, but action on dairy ornamentals. Um, I'm really delighted to see the amount of response from you, our members, on emailing your MPs. We've had over 1,500 emails to MPs on dairy and on ornamental significant numbers as well, but we do need to get the evidence in and wherever you can take video footage uh, and send those clips to MPs or others, post them online, please do that. So much of this is going unseen at the moment. We're also finding new ways of working and we're looking at a webinar um, on BPS and, and various other ways to be able to engage with you, our members, and the actions that need to be taken. Obviously, we've got legislation that will be coming up in the not too distant future. And uh, it's important that we are absolutely ready to go with the agricultural bill and other things coming our way. These continue to be unprecedented and, and very challenging times. I've just finished a call um, with the EU27 uh, discussing what is going on uh, right across the European Union and the actions that the Commission is looking to take. Um, so interesting discussion, everybody facing the same challenge, basically the, the loss of the food service market out of home eating and the perishability of our sector. I think everybody recognises across the world that agriculture is, is different, it's perishable um, and we have to have different measures in place to make sure that we deliver on food security. So uh, another week gone uh, and it's just to say to you, please do stay safe. Please look after yourselves and, and do take good care. And I look forward to speaking to you again next week. Thanks so much. Hello everyone, I apologise that this weekly update is in two parts. I normally get it done on a Wednesday to get to you on a Thursday. But I really felt this morning, the 23rd of April, St George's Day and the start of Great British Beef Week, that I had to share with you my frustration that Sainsbury's in particular has a large volume of Irish steaks and Irish joints on its shelves. When we have so much British beef that is being chilled down, steaks and joints in the chillers at the moment, it is really shameful and incredibly upsetting for farmers. So I know you share my frustration. We are determined to make sure that we work with government and the whole of the supply chain to make sure wherever possible that we are using British beef and indeed right across all sectors, British raw ingredients wherever possible. I just wanted to get this message across to you that I share your anger, your frustration, and we are doing all we can to correct this problem. Many thanks.